Hi YouTube, it's George here and today we're talking about the full-size US Marine Corps K-Bar knife, okay? So uh, the full-size is a 7 inches long blade. Uh, as you can see, I made uh, all of the information here available, but I'm gonna put them on the video description, so let's not waste too much time. And now I'll just to talk to you about the positive and negative points. For a start, this is a legendary blade. Um, as far as I know, the US Marine had been using this knife for um, ever since World War II wars sometimes, and they're still using it now, I think. Um, which makes this knife ev effectively a milestone in the in the US history. Um, I always wanted to get this knife, I couldn't afford it until I came here, I started making money and then finally get one of those. Um, it's really, really nice knife. It's worth every cent has spent. Very comfortable. So basically, okay. We're gonna talk about the, uh, talk about the ergonomics. So it's very comfortable, and the leather, as in my opinion, it feels much better than any other material I've ever had. It feels better than mica. Feels better than G10. Feels better than um, rubber, especially rubber, because this this knife doesn't really give you any sort of a springy feel which kind of makes you feel a bit tired okay so reverse carry the same very comfortable uh, it's got a very oversized handle I believe uh, from I mean I've got a really kind of a small to medium sized hand but um, I'm sure if you've got a if you've got a big hand you can still you can still find this knife giving you enough real estate um, to actually hold it so it's very very good. It's got a very unique functional design of the blade. Uh, I believe they actually named this type of blade as K bar, but um, but obviously you can see that it resembles a bit of a bowy shaped design. Um, it's got a swedge on the back, which you can easily sharpen it into a a sharp edge. I I definitely I didn't sharpen it, but um, it's easy to, to do it because it's already reasonably sharp the the way it came so cuts both ways definitely designed for, for fighting um, and also you've got a very um, strong tip as well as being pointy so it's very strong and pointy and um, it's got a really good center of gravity I mean um, because of its design, it's a bit like a bowy and it's got a certain mass around this area and you can definitely use this knife as a very good chopping chopping blade and it's got enough length as well anything shorter than this you won't quite be able to use it to chop stuff and also it's um, it's got a full hand guard which is very nicely done, I definitely don't feel I feel very comfortable holding this this hand guard here. The traction is very great as well with this groove. So I don't I don't feel any movements at all. Now um, there's a full time construction. That is that one is more like a, a assumption really. Um, I I certainly couldn't open the knife up, but um, I'm just assuming that this joint. Uh, especially for the town section, it's still up to date. I I'm sure this part has been changed because because uh, I can see from the knife here. I can see from the knife here that um, there's a wider termination here than what it is there. Um, I think that's probably a bit of weaker design. So I can assume it's a full town construction. Full time is strength. That's final. Now there's no reflection um, or low reflection on the on the blade due to this coating, which also protects the the carbon blade from rusting. So that's very tactical. Uh, it's got a very sharp and strong blade. So just do a very brief demonstration. Sorry. Okay, so that's still the factory edge. I didn't sharpen it at all. Very sharp. 
I was very impressed about it. So, um, you got the solution. I mean, you know, you can, it comes with the this the combo edge or the the straight edge. I chose the combo edge because I thought it was kind of fancy. This iteration, um, I'm not really too sure why they did did this iteration in such a manner. Um, I'm sure it cuts reasonably well, say synthetic materials or something. But um, the iteration is reasonably unique in comparing with maybe spider coats or uh, other designs. I'm not too sure why. Anyways, um, there's also a fuller design for weight reduction, as you can see. Um, some people call it the blood groove, so that reduces a bit of weight without really trading off this, the strength of the blade. I like that. Uh, so uh, there's a butt cap as well. I mean, you can. I'm sure you can use it as a hammer, but in the in the actual box, it um, it came with a note saying you shouldn't be using the knife as a hammer, throwing knife, and things like that. Not too sure why they're being so conservative. I, I think maybe, I mean, it's probably not a super strong design around this area, but just as far as improvising it is concerned, I think you should be fine. And also, you can carry the the knife in a reverse manner. So basically, the leather really holds the knife in place even without without um without the buckle so carry it both ways no problem there's uh, the steel uh, of this blade is 1095 so basically i think there's a point is not a point uh 95 percent of carbon in the steel and it's, since it's a carbon steel it's reasonably um re it holds reasonably good edge so another thing is they actually designed a little bit of drainage for the leather because um, they don't want to keep water inside leather will swell and um, will break your sheets eventually. So that's all the good things to say about the knife. There are a few negative points to say about, about it as well. For start, there's no line at the hole. I mean, I, I, I really see the point of, I do see the point of line at the hole. It, I mean, you wouldn't want to drop your knife during combat or something. And also, it's um, it's not really a super tough knife in terms of uh, survival use. Say, if you want to make fire, you have to baton or something. Uh, this knife's construction, it, for start, there's there's a handguard here. I've seen some destruction videos made by someone on YouTube. And um, just by batoning, the handguard will bend and um, will kind of kind of break the knife by batoning. And also, the leather doesn't hold very well against the 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 pounding as well. So, and also um, one other thing they actually pointed out was during the destruction test, uh, the knife failed around this area. Which you can see, um, they don't really have this thing called stress relief, which is usually a round cut out hole around the corner. So without that, um, what happens is when you apply stress around this region, the force is concentrated to that one point. That one point will eventually lead to a fracture and crack the entire tongue, and that's how in the video they, they managed to, to break the knife completely. So I'm assuming that's the same to this version as well. Um, but I guess that's that's alright as far as the fighting knife is concerned. Which is the name. Um, I don't think you ever break this knife by fighting someone. So another thing is a leather really absorbs moisture. I mean I keep this in my closet sometimes and then with moisture, it start to, as you can probably see from here, um, leather absorbs the moisture, and eventually it kind of becomes rotten to the, to the look. 
So you really kind of try, you try to maintain this knife in a dry condition if you just want to keep the knife as a collection. So uh, it's made of carbon steel, so obviously it's not stainless steel. You're gonna have to look after it, or you will rust. And the mine had rusted a little bit. That's why you see a bit of green grease in there, which is something I coat. Well, I coat on the knife to prevent it from rusting. Uh, you can probably see a little bit of black here, which is the rust I got while ago. So, um, positive points based on my speculation is I think this knife is reasonably cheap. If sold in the States, you probably can get it for like under 100 US dollars. So, if you want to build a collection, this is a must have and it's not too expensive. Um, this negative point as well, um, you can't really use it as a f fine cutting tool because because see the tongue here kind of really stops your hand from getting a grip on the blade so that's out of question maybe you can use it that way quite uncomfortable anyways serration is not very aggressive I mean mm, that's still to be debated um, maybe you find the serration work better than no more serrations but this is as you can see it's a rounded shaped serration wavy I don't know how well it works the handle is not a, a silverable handle. I mean, with the leather, it's basically st stacked leather, which is about um, half a centimeter thick leather stacked all together into this handle. You can still see the the edge of each each stacked leather there. So you can't really service it. There's no screws or anything. So basically. If um, the knife has moisture inside the, the handle, you can't really get rid of it. So that's just another thing. Otherwise, I really, really love this knife.